the elementary school in Jacksboro also took a pretty severe hit. And that's where we find Nick Starling today. This just shows you how powerful that tornado was that went through last night. It took off the roof of this Jacksboro Elementary School gymnasium. A lot of debris is out flying around, even tumbled some of the walls around here. Over in the parking lot, cars were tossed and turned, some even upside down, and now the recovery process begins. This morning is going to be a new day. The sun's going to rise and this community is going to rally together. Resilience is how this community will move forward after surviving a tornado Monday evening. During a press conference this morning, the police chief holding back tears after seeing what it did to the Jacksboro Elementary School. It's just a miracle and uh, I was one of the first responders here and uh, this campus did a great job. The, the, the faculty, the staff, the parents that were lined up here to pick up students, they did an incredible job on getting everybody in the building, getting everybody into the safe hallways that we have. This used to be the school's gymnasium, now filled with fallen rafters, insulation, and bricks. Thankfully, no students, staff, or parents were inside this part of the building. Look around this parking lot and you see cars upside down. Uh, you see a lot of devastation. These are parents that were here to pick up their kids. They cooperated. They followed our commands. They moved into the building. And, uh, it, you know, this could have cost us, you know, a lot of casualties here had those people not been willing to cooperate. Now the cleanup begins with crews fixing power lines, stopping any gas leaks, and clearing brush. We want to make sure that safety is a priority and that way we can we can get some work done to get our residents back um, as close to possible to their property as, as, as possible. All Jacksboro schools are canceled for the week, obviously, as they try to figure out the extent of the storm damage. Now, when it comes to where these classes will be at, that's still to be determined, but it'll be months and months before anything can get rebuilt. In Jacksboro, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News.